Hi everybody. How's everybody doing? Praise the Lord. This is Rarotonga Miti Evangelist. Thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are watching from all over the globe, God bless you all for watching. It is well with you. Our scripture reading for today is from the book of Proverbs 22, verse 4. Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. Our theme for today, humility. Humility removes pride, whereby a man refuses to submit himself to the truth of faith. Humility is supremely prized in the eyes of God. Amen. In both the Old and New Testament, humility is essential for establishing a right relationship with God and other people. Amen. For example, humble people handle stress more effectively and report higher levels of physical and mental well-being. They also show greater generosity, helpfulness, and gratitude. All things get, can only serve to draw us closer to others. Amen. Praise the Lord. The question is, why is humility important to God? God gives grace to the humble. Humility is a grace that attracts more grace. Pride closes the door to spiritual growth, but humility opens the door of your life to more of God's grace. To the humble, God gives patience and peace and gentleness. The fruit of the Spirit grows in the soil of humility. Amen. Praise the Lord. Humility requires God's grace. Given often through rebukes, setbacks, God's word. Until we learn that God is God. But we are not. Amen. And that other people deserve the same love and consideration we do. The humble person thinks honestly about himself, not too highly or falsely denying what God has given. Amen. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Praise the Lord. God commands us to cultivate humility. Humble yourselves. From the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 6, James 4, verse 10. Before God, by accepting this, his word and providence without crumbling, and before other people, by putting their interest above your own. From the, um, Philippians 2, verse 1 to 5. Coupled with humility is the fear of the Lord. The proud forget God, do not call on him for help and forgiveness, and refuse to give him thanks. Amen. The humble know they rely on him even for breath itself. Amen. Praise the Lord. The reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. The things God promised Abraham when he called him and Solomon after he asked for wisdom. It's what Jesus promised Peter who asked him what he will get for having led everything to follow him. Truly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mothers or fathers or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers, fathers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. From the book of Mark 10, 29 to 30. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
There are great rewards in this life for humility and fear of the Lord. But because the world is proud and resists God, the reward come with persecutions, sometimes job lost, sometimes ruined reputation, sometimes even death. Amen? No follower of Jesus should ever believe that he promised a life of uninterrupted success resulting in riches and honor and life, such as Job had before. God allowed Satan to take them away. Our true riches are stored up for us in the age to come, when God gives the humble eternal life. God bless.